Barcelona are far away from their glory days. At the time of recording, they sit 12 points behind first place from Madrid, and although they have a game in hand, that would still put them 9 points behind Los Blancos. They are out of Europe, and last year's summer transfer window saw them lose Lionel Messi. However, I have good news for Barcelona fans, not all is lost. This Barcelona side is very talented and has tremendous potential. Welcome to the JVM Football Channel, where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Today, I'll be going over the youngsters of Barcelona and how these could set them up for success for the next decade as they try to reclaim their spot in world football. Okay, first, let's establish how dire the situation of Barcelona is right now. Should we generally be worried about the club? If you asked me the same question a year ago, I'd have probably said yes, but seeing how Juan Laporta and Xavi have set things up, it looks like Barca are finally on an upward curve. Being knocked out of the Champions League still during the group stage and sitting 12 points behind their biggest rivals in the league is probably not ideal, but I don't see things getting much worse from here. There are 5 players currently at Barcelona and possible signings that the club could make that would set them apart and prepare them for the return to challenging for titles next season. These 5 players are Pedri, Fati, Gavi, Araujo and Inaki Peña. Of course, a football team is composed of more than just 5 players, but with these 5, I believe that Barca have a core foundation of what's to come for the next few seasons. I'll be going over each of the 5 players and giving an explanation as to why I believe that these are the guys that will be taking on the mantle of helping Barca to getting back to where they were before. We start off with the man that has shown us the most and who has been class for both Barcelona and the Spanish national team, and that is Pedri. Over the past 18 months or so, Pedri has become a regular starter for Barca, has played for Spain in the Euros and then went on to play in the Olympics for Spain again. He's like that kid that the PE teacher keeps picking for all the sports events because he's that good. This season Pedri has played 19 games and registered 5 goal contributions, which is not bad, but this season he has dealt with a few injuries and has been out of the squad for a long time. And for a long time I mean over 100 days missed, over 20 games missed due to injuries, to still have played 9 games and registered 4 goals and 1 assist is quite impressive. Pedri has missed a total of 24 games this season due to injury, but from what we have seen so far from Pedri over these 20 to 18 months, I can see that he is definitely one for the future of Barcelona. Ansu Fati is next and I believe that most people would agree that from what we have seen so far, disregarding the endless injuries, Fati seems like the one to have the biggest upside. Just like Pedri, he has dealt with a few injuries this season and even prior to this season. The beginning of the season we weren't sure if he was actually going to play. But when he has played, Fati has always been class for Barca. He has played 10 games this season and in those 10 games, Fati has scored 5 goals and assisted another. 6 goal contributions in 10 games played. The numbers are nice, but some of the intangibles that make a great player great are also present when watching Fati play. The hunger and tenacity to win are already there. Look no further than his first game this season, coming back from injury and wearing the iconic number 10 for Barcelona and scoring on his return. You don't get much better than that, Fati is definitely one of the guys that is going to help this Barcelona side to get what they deserve. The next player on the video of the youngsters of Barcelona is Gavi. Gavi has been crucial to Barcelona this season and it's quite impressive the way he has been performing. In fact, considering some of the previous names of the players that occupy the position that he is occupying in the Barca squad, mainly Xavi and Iniesta. Gavi has played an outstanding 37 games for Barcelona in all competitions this season in which he has registered 7 goal contributions. The cheer of Gavi, Pedri and De Jong is something I am eagerly waiting on. Although he hasn't yet signed his new contract and there are a lot of speculation regarding that, I believe that Gavi will stay at Barca and he will help this team moving forward. The next player up is Araujo, the future of this defence and a player that Barcelona should be looking to build a defence around. The Uruguayan is also part of the new generation of Uruguayans coming through for the national team. At Barcelona this season, he has played 34 games, which is always a positive for centre back to be playing this many games. But Araujo has also scored 4 goals in La Liga, showing how much of a dominant force he is in the air. He too hasn't signed his contract for Barcelona yet, but just like with Gavi, I believe that it is only a matter of time as I see both players staying at the club. 
Finally, we have Inaki Peña. I could have picked De Jong or Ferran Torres, and the fact I believe would still be the same, but I picked Peña because he completes what is a strong 5 spread around the pitch. Fati up front, Gavi and Pedri in the middle, Araujo on the defence and Peña at the back. Ter Stegen will not play forever, but will need a quality replacement for the German international, and Peña could be that. He's currently on loan at Galatasaray, he isn't having the best of seasons, but it's definitely someone Barcelona could be looking to improve the squad. But anyways guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.